A door was broken down and a T. Rex stepped out. The one driving the dinosaur was Hitler, the creator of World War II. It turned out that Hitler did not die, but flew to the moon in a spaceship and built a new colony in an attempt to counterattack the Earth. In the course of fighting the Nazis, mankind launched a nuclear war, which led to the near extinction of the human race. The only few thousand people left had to take a spaceship to the back of the moon. Lisa becomes the new leader of the refuge and works with her daughter Lucy to maintain the safety of the base. As the base was in a state of disrepair, Lucy worked on it every day with a wrench. One day, a plane suddenly visited the base, which made Lisa very uneasy. He was about to give the order to shoot down the ship, but Lucy stopped him. Lucy ran out of the sheltered gate, despite her mother's objections. She caught the falling ship with a tower crane. At the moment, it went out of control. When they go up to check it out, they realize that the ship is actually carrying Earth refugees, and that the ship is actually made of car parts. Lisa doesn't want to take them in at first, as the moon shelter is already full of people, and adding other refugees to it would be difficult to support them. Lucy strongly urged her mother to take them in. After some persuasion, Lisa finally agreed. At the same time, Lucy also found out that there is a religion that believes in iPhones. They spend their days praying with their iPhones in a closed room, and one of the leaders is convicted of disloyalty to the religion just for jailbreaking his phone. As the screen of the phone lights up, the phone carrying an explosive device instantly blows the owner to ashes. This caused Lucy to explode, smashing the windows of the church. But she didn't realize that her mother, Lisa, was among them. Her mother was old and sickly, so thin that you could see her bones. She had come to pray that her daughter would be married before she left. Lucy looked at her aging mother and couldn't bear to see her. She decided to look for new resources to help her mother share her responsibilities. While he was working on a spaceship made of car parts, a mysterious man stepped out of the spaceship. This old man cut off his finger with a knife. Then he took a piece of medicine. The finger grows back quickly, and Lucy is instantly stunned. Just a few minutes earlier, Lucy was studying the spaceship when a mysterious man stepped out of it. She then followed, but the mysterious man had already spotted her and knocked her straight to the ground. When Lucy woke up, the mysterious man had stuffed something in his mouth, and his face was actually glowing with light. Just when Lucy was about to ask, the mysterious man took off his hood, and it turned out that he was the long dead fur of the moon. Lucy doesn't know if he's a ghost or a human and attacks him. The fur begs for mercy and produces a chocolate-like object. He told Lucy that it was called Velia, a kind of pure energy which could power the ship and cure her mother Lisa's illness. Lucy, who was eager to save her mother, believed him and brought the chocolate to her mother. Lisa did not hesitate to eat. Immediately after Lisa's skin began to smooth up, the state of mind has also become better. Her sister was instantly shocked, so there really is a magic potion for rejuvenation. Lisa approached the fur again. The fur directly cut off his own little thumb. The next moment, his thumb grew back. It turns out that the fur is not a human being from Earth. They are from the planet Velia. They came to Earth in the age of dinosaurs and created Adam and Eve, the early ancestors of mankind. They predicted in advance that the impact of meteorites would lead to the extinction of dinosaurs and were forced to hide in the center of the Earth with their spaceships. The fur came back this time in the hope that Lucy could help him to go deep into the center of the Earth to retrieve the Holy Grail containing Velia so that the energy problem of the sanctuary could be solved. But the fur saw it coming. Lucy found Sean, the pilot, and just as they were about to set off, they were stopped by the Patriarch. The Godfather wants to come along. Jack, who had been Lucy's bodyguard before the trip, joined them. And with that, they set off in their smoking spaceship. Because Lucy is not familiar with the operation of the ship, the operation has caused the ship to go out of control until it fell into the entrance of the Earth's core world. This is an out-of-control spaceship after a round of swaying until it crashed into the ground. Luckily, the ship was almost destroyed, but no harm was done. While Lisa was complaining, Jack saw a shocking scene. It turned out that they were really in the center of the Earth. Not only is the environment beautiful, but there is also a small sun. Lucy hurriedly took out the map and started to look for the direction of the infinite energy source. But since there is no network in the center of the Earth, the Godfather's iPhone compass is also ineffective. Luckily, Sean had his cell phone with him, and Lucy took it with confidence. Sean told Lucy that the cell phone had survived the war and was very sturdy. Lucy was able to find the compass function in the cell phone. With the guidance of the compass, they found their way to the Holy City. The Last Supper was being held in the Holy City. The wares, once disguised as great men of mankind, were bragging about their contributions to mankind, and one of them was their leader, Hitler. One of them was none other than their leader Hitler, the brother of the fur of the moon. He was extremely unhappy with what everyone was doing to Earth. The first to be addressed was the President of the United States, who had started an unauthorized nuclear war that led to the destruction of the planet. And so the President of the United States of America was cut into pieces.
On the other hand, Lucy and the others found the location of the Holy Grail. But the godfather Memeik, when a believer saw his idol, he immediately jumped on him and became a fan. It turns out that Mike is also a velociraptor. And without saying a word, Mike closes the door and releases the cage. The crowd is no match for the dinosaurs and is captured. Only Lucy and Sean escaped. Only Lucy and Sean escaped. And the captured godfather negotiated with Hitler, who told him the location of the moon base. Hitler instantly changed his mind. At the word of command, the godfather and his followers became lunch for the willies. Only Jack escaped by using his wilderness skills to open the shackles. On the other hand, Lisa and Sean used the first severed finger to open the door where the Holy Grail was hidden and made their way to the Holy of Holies to get the Holy Grail. The sun fell from the sky without the Grail. Sean and Lisa ran into Jack, who was on the run. In the dinosaur racer, the sun crashed into a boulder and cut off the road in front of him. Luckily, Lucy managed to jump to the opposite side of the road with the help of inertia and escaped without any danger. They took the Holy Grail and flew the ship out of the Earth's core world and successfully returned to the Lunar Refuge. The fourth threatened Lisa to make Lucy hint over the Grail. At that moment, Hitler arrived at the moon base in his spaceship and landed it directly above the base. He then rides AT, Rex to the moon and knocks the fur out of the way. Lisa, in order to protect the humans in the sanctuary, drank a gulp of Velia from the Holy Grail. She instantly transformed into a super soldier and kicked the Tyrannosaurus Rex in the air. Hitler was hit by a falling refrigerator and died instantly. At which point the first stood up again and shot Lisa, and Lucy could only watch as her mother departed. Ah, uh, unable to stop grieving, Sean strapped the grail to the engine and used its power to start the ship. The fur was still coming after them and attacked them. At this moment, the fur picked up the godfather's iPhone and showed them that the iPhone has a location and they can't escape. Suddenly Lucy had the bright idea to use the phone to successfully enter the iPhone system and start the iPhone's explosion program. With the explosion of the cell phone, the spaceship was blown to ashes. Since the moon base has been destroyed, they can only look for the next place to survive, which is Mars. Mars had already been occupied, a size and a hammer have already appeared on Mars, and their journey to Mars is about to begin.